Hey, what's going on guys? I got an opportunity to redesign and redo my BK2 sheath and I think it really turned out really, really well. I think you guys are going to be very pleased with it. This is what I got. Now some of the things that, uh, some of the features that I've got on this bad boy is number one, you can see how thick the leather is that I've used. Another thing is I have spared no expense making this sheath. Uh, all these are all Chicago screws, not cheap rivets, not rapid rivets or anything like that. Uh, I got this nice ring right here for the dangler and one of the really cool things about this particular dangler is the fact that it comes off. Just like that it removes so now you can set this vertical up high on your belt or with the dangler on simple as that now it sits low on your belt uh, it also has the scout and the uh, cross draw straps um, you will notice that the fire steel is down here instead of up here like most people put most people put it you know up here where it sits like this and I did not want to do that because it's been done to death uh, one of my other sheaths actually holds it like that and that's all I see I see everybody putting them up there and quite frankly I wanted to do something a little bit different than everybody else so I put it down here and that's another reason why I did the removable dangler because I haven't seen anybody else do it and that was actually an idea from one of you guys so Shannon you're the man good idea buddy um, the reason another reason I wanted to put the fire steel down here instead of here is because I try to eliminate any type of mechanical failure before it ever happens and let's just say that it is sitting here and with that stitching being stitched there that stitching is on the inside of the sheath okay so if, if that ever pops loose and you ever have to redo that the whole sheath has to come apart or you have to redo an entire sheath with the way that this is set up if something ever happened all you have to do is replace the Chicago screw or you know the stitch here but the thing is this thing is bomb proof this thing is not going to fall apart I have Chicago heavy heavy duty Chicago screws in every single stress point on this thing the stitching that I use, uh, that particular stitching will hold up to 80 pounds anyway. So, like I said, this thing is not coming loose. It's not falling apart. This thing is absolutely it's bulletproof. It is going to last you a lifetime, plain and simple. Okay? So, let me show you a few ways that you can carry this knife. Okay, this is carry option number one. You can see that it sits low on the thigh. Carry option number two, sit up high on the waist. The ever popular scout carry. Of course, you can sit it further back on yourself if you want. Got cross draw. And another one that's uh, often overlooked. You can set up and rig up a simple paracord harness so that it will sit underneath the arm now you can adjust the knife to where it sits vertically down like it is now or you can turn it to where it will sit this direction it just all depends on how you run the paracord through the scout stops carry retaining straps all right guys there you have it the new and improved BK2 sheath with more carry options and you can throw a stick at so, hope you guys like it. If you do, 
look me up on my Facebook group, Wolf's Custom Sheets. I'll put the link up at the end of the video. Uh, come check out these prices, guys. I guarantee you will not find prices anywhere like mine, especially considering the fact that this is all hand done. A little bit of close up. Yes, there's even a drain hole. Have a good one, guys.